Hi everyone, this is Wang, Wang Liang, the Aragon watch designer. In today's video, we are going to show you the brand new Aragon Armor Automatic, but the second generation. And this time, the design has come up to another new level. Uh, but before we go talk about the specs, I want to show you the last week that we debuted the Dive Master 40 GMT Automatic as compared to the 50 millimeter Aragon Armor Automatic. All right, so it's a lot of watch uh, for the money, but, and let's come in and talk about the spec of this watch. Okay, here we go. Okay, look at what we have here. Now, this is a close-up of the, the brand new Aragon Armor, the second generation. And I want everybody to know this watch is a lot of watch. This watch is very substantial in terms of weight. Uh, there's a lot of upgrades and difference than the first generation. I really, really like it. Uh, I really like how uh, from the design in the computer drawings and turn out into the actual product. Uh, it came out really, really good. Uh, now, this is a 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter watch and it's definitely uh, for the larger timepiece collectors out there. And I made six different dial selections, okay? Uh, but the most important is this one right here. Uh, this is the titanium Damascus steel, okay? This is the perfect angle to show you this dial. So what this is a limited edition to only 50 pieces. And I'm going to come back and talk about this watch. So let me introduce all the colors to you first. So we have, these are not limited edition. This is the only limited edition, okay? So for the sunray texture, I did two brand new colors. We've never done anything like this. Um, we continue to call this teal, but it's different than the Dive Master 42 teal, which sold out already. Um, this one is a little bit more to the, um, like the turquoise side, less blue. It's more like the mint, that area, okay? And then this we are calling the lavender. It's very pretty in person. We've never done this dial color before, so I have a very strong feeling these two might take off and more people are going to order these two. And on the bottom, the second row right here, these are all solid colors with the white, okay? And then the solid yellow. And uh, we are going to call this gray, but it's actually it's more like a sports car uh, that you see on the road. It's a light gray, not, not so much of the battleship, but it's more like the latest sports car. And that's where I got the inspiration from. Now, What I want to share with you about the difference for this second generation armor is I think the first thing you notice is the numeral our indexes on the dial. Okay, so these are all 3D loom in green, it glows green, and they're super bright in the dark once you charge them. And each one of the number from one to zero, okay, one, two, three, you know, it requires and individual tooling. So we had to spend a lot of money to make each one of the numbers, okay? And if you can see it from the profile, they're really high up above the dial. It's somewhere between 1.5 to two millimeter in thickness, which is also a plus in terms of the design because I like to make the design of this armor, this generation to be a lot of, um, ups and down, a lot of uh, dynamic. Okay, so let's begin. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver so I can point out things. So the first thing that you notice is probably the design of the bezel, okay? It's a 50 millimeter from three to nine. And you can see there are two finishes on the bezel, okay? So on the bottom is sandblasted. So how we did it is, 
uh, during the manufacturing of the stainless steel process. So we had to create a mold to stamp the shape of the bezel with the numerals on the surface. Okay, once it's finished, we do the sand blasting finish on the bezel. And once it's done, we put it on the machine and spin it. Okay, so in the polishing, we, we spin it and create. And we have to calibrate the machine very precisely. So it will only remove the surface of the sand blasted on the surface of the numerals. Okay, that's how it's being done. So indentation mm -hmm. between each one of the hour to create like a... Uh, like a teeth, so it's easy for you to gr grip and turn. It's 120 teeth rotating basil. By the way, this design, okay, is a lot of watch uh, for the money you're gonna spend on this watch. Okay, so now, once you can also see the winter opening, it's a lot larger than the previous armor automatic. Uh, I don't have the number with me, but it's a lot larger. So once we pass through the glass, you can see there's a chapter ring on the outside with micro imprint of the minute lines. And then each one of the hour has this little loom dot. Okay, they will also glow in the dark, which is very, very cool. It's very three dimensional. I don't not. I'm not so sure if you can see it through your display. Okay, so now down to the dial. This is what I talked about previously. I enjoy this 3D loom numerals dial, so I'm going to be making a lot more in the future. Uh, new set of hand. Now, another thing I want to show you, not sure if you can see on your display, is I have a highlight around the numbers. Okay, it's like a black highlight. So the, the reason why I did this is just in case if uh, not enough contrast between the numerals and the dials, at least you can see the outline of the numeral underneath. So can you imagine uh, when we are, you know, the dial makers, let's just call them, and when they uh, hand apply each one of the numbers on the dial, they have to hand apply very precisely to make sure the numbers go inside the border. Okay, so for the Black borders matching with the black hour and the minute hands and also the second hand as well. You can see the description. Uh, automatic with 200 meters water resistance. So you're safe. Go scuba diving. Everything you can do with this watch. Professional dive grade. Uh, make sure you lock your crown. Again, now here's a 10 millimeter crown. When it comes to that, I want you to see this angle by the 3 o'clock. There is a crown guard. Okay. Now I'm going to slightly turn this watch. Is perfectly balanced on both sides, up and top and bottom. You can see that. And the crown is recessed into the case for extra protection. Okay. Not, oh, it went out of focus a little bit. So you can see the SII NH35 automatic with the date display at the three o'clock. Now let's go back to the case. All right. So I want to show you this. I want to point this out where the luck design is. You see how it's a, you know, we have the curvature of the lug, but right here in this part is indented into the solar purse and link. And how it progressed into the middle is also another indentation to give you this center piece, uh, this center link piece is really, really cool. Now, if you look at the profile, the, the bracelet, the curvature is gonna wrap around your wrist, whether seven, seven and a half or eight inches, eight inch wrist, you will wear this watch very comfortable. Now, this watch I mentioned again is substantial. It's pretty uh, well balanced and it's weighty. Okay, it's not something that is light weighted. I think it has, has to do with the uh, solid stainless steel and the solid stainless steel bracelet with five millimeter for each link. Okay, everything is solid watch. This watch is built like a tank. Clasp. Okay, it's this solid deploying clasp, which is very high quality dual button for the release. Okay. The Aragon logo right here, the flip flop safety for extra protection. So the watch will not fall off your wrist. The button is make it very easy to release. Uh, the micro adjustment at the end, you can see that 
uh, the rotor, if I didn't mention it, okay, this is the Aragon Blue Rotor Decoration. And if you can also see the design of the case back is extra, extra cool as well. Okay, make sure the watch is very comfortable on your wrist. Um, so these are both 50 millimeter. So there's a silicone strap and this one has the solid stainless steel bracelet. All right, so this is it. Um, the, the loom again is green loom glows green. Okay, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this very much. So now let me talk about the other colors. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this. Uh, there's not a bad color, it's what your favorite is. If you can see the white, maybe you can see the white with the black border much better on this, yellow as well. Really, really pretty. Uh, I think some of you might have a hard time choosing, but if you want to try out the new color this time, definitely get the sunray this too to teal all the lavender and when we um about a few months ago when we first released the lavender with a concept s which is this collection is nearly sold out or it could be sold out already with the lavender everybody jumped on that one okay but that lavender color was a little bit lighter so let me put this side by side i didn't realize that so i want you to see something okay using a similar pen tone but you can see the difference between the texture you know the moon texture on this side versus the sun ray and also if you can see the 3d loom it gives that um, light reflection to the dial so it changes a little bit which is really really cool there's there's so much about this watch i think you're gonna love especially with the bezel and the large window opening. I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy this watch and find um, this is like the next level of the armor automatic. And I can't, you know, I can't wait, you know, to continue to progress from this collection and design even more uh, different executions. If you guys really, really like this and it becomes uh, very popular, I will consider to make it into a different, you know, smaller size because I know we are getting... Uh, a lot of customers that prefer like the 45 and 40, 44. So it was very interesting um, to share with you. Uh, when we had the C Striker, uh, I think we debuted it back in August. Uh, what's interesting was we had three sizes, you know, 50, 45, and, and 50, 45, and 40, right? So throughout the years, we always hear a lot of people with their opinions. They want us to make smaller watches in the 40s or the 39. Uh, what was interesting, I want to share this, um, this, you know, uh, this statistic with you guys, is the 45 is actually the number one volume out of, out of the three sizes. Um, I always thought, oh, every, because I always, you know, post watches on the social media, we hear a lot of smaller watch collectors, they scream out and say like, oh, I really enjoy your watches, but if you're gonna make a 40 millimeter, I'm gonna buy one immediately. But what we found is 45 is the winner. Is, is that incredible? All right, so let's go back to this one right here. And among the six, this is my favorite. I have to say this. This titanium Damascus steel dial, okay? Um, this is genuine. There's a lot of blue and purple, so it depends on the angle of the light reflection. So I was trying to find it. This is, I'm sure uh, you will be able to see that a lot better than me because I'm looking through a small monitor. Uh, this is a very expensive material. Even though we build our watches so affordable, uh, a lot of people don't realize, um, you know, how expensive our components are. And as compared to any other brands, I'm sure they're selling these in the four or five or six hundred dollars. So anyway, let's go back. Uh, the process of making this dial with um, varieties of colors is they didn't come out like this. They didn't come out blue or purple. We heat treated it, okay, go through the oven, burn it, heat it through, uh, not burn it, heat it through a, a period of time. And when up to certain color and we have to take it out immediately and then and, and let it cool off and the color stays. Um, after that, we have to spray a protection coating on top of it, make sure that um, the color will remain the same. 
I love the pattern of the dial. This is limited edition to only 50 pieces. Okay. Uh, I think if any one of you is, it fits in your budget, this is the one. If you don't have anything like this in your collection, or you've always seen this dial, right? Uh, that, you know, you have seen it a lot more expensive from somewhere else. This is it. This is your opportunity to get them. Okay. So, um, 200 meters water resistance, and I will model this watch and make sure you stay with us for another five, 10 seconds, because we want you to, we want you to see our loom shot and it's definitely very impressive. All right. So, you know, Aragon is a brand where we cover all sizes, not only all sizes, and we're mainly a mechanical watch company. Okay. And we have everything from uh, Superluminova to Tridium. So we are a brand, small company that offers a lot of watch for many of the collectors out there. And our price is so affordable. Uh, but we remain very small. We really enjoy being a small watch company and I hope you um, enjoy our brand and thank you very much. And I hope, um, you know, to see you very, very soon. All right. See you next time, guys.